we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the start of the Resident Inspector Program in June. And over the next few months, we'll be acknowledging and highlighting resident inspectors' contributions to our mission and hear in their own words what it means to do this critical job. We meet our important safety and security mission in many ways, but one of the most important is through our resident inspectors. They're stationed at every U.S. nuclear power plant to watch the daily operations at the sites and serve as our eyes and ears on the ground. The program first started in 1974 as a trial run with one inspector at the Kiwani and Point Beach nuclear power plants. In 1977, we expanded the program with more inspectors at more plants after concluding that the concept worked. In all, some 1,150 resident inspectors have served at the NRC since the start of the program. Now, 50 years later, there are 119 NRC resident inspectors at 94 operating nuclear reactors and two fuel cycle facilities. The NRC puts all resident inspectors through a rigorous 18 to 24 month qualification program. The new inspectors learn about federal safety regulations and their role in independently verifying these requirements are being met at U.S. operating commercial reactors. Towards the end of the process, there's a final qualification board during which senior inspectors and managers evaluate how well the individual integrates and applies inspector competencies into field situations. Resident inspectors come from a variety of backgrounds, but most have degrees in engineering or science. Some served in the Navy's nuclear program, others worked in the nuclear industry, and others were recruited directly from college. Once the resident inspectors complete their training, they're assigned to a plant. There, they spend their days keeping an eye on plant activities to ensure the plants are meeting NRC safety criteria. No day is ever the same. Inspectors, for example, may visit control rooms and review operator logbook entries, observe operators performing plant manipulations, visually assess areas of the plant, observe test of or repairs to important systems or components, interact with plant employees to determine if they have any safety concerns, and review corrective action documents to ensure problems have been identified and fixes implemented. If resident inspectors uncover safety critical issues, they immediately notify plant operators who must remedy them. And then the resident inspector relays the information to NRC management. If issues are serious enough, the NRC will consider taking enforcement action. Resident inspectors are the agency's eyes and ears and boots on the ground for what's happening in and around the plant. Resident inspectors live in the community near the plants. However, to maintain objectivity, they're restricted from interacting socially with plant employees. In addition, resident inspectors can only stay at one plant for a maximum of seven years. Many of our senior officials got their start as resident inspectors. Join us in commemorating the Resident Inspector Program's 50th anniversary and check back with us over the coming months to hear more about what it means to carry out this vital work.